Bonjour! Hi! This video, I want to spend time talking about those AI simple for .NET. So if you are a .NET developer and would like to start with AI, but you're not sure how to get started, those are exactly for you. They are very simple example that you can run locally and see the code. It's just a few lines of codes, tiny bits, very easy to understand, and then you can understand how to use that in your own project and become the master of AI. <laughs> so without further ado, let's get started. So I want to talk more about those quick starts. So we have sample that use the Azure OpenAI SDK, and we have the same sample using semantic kernel. So if you want to make the comparison with the difference between the code, that's exactly the case. So today I want to make one example. I want to see with you one example in each of those SDK. So to get started, we go here in the source repository and the quick start. And here we have the readme with all the prerequisite we need. And it says that we need to clone the environment and then do a AZD up. AZD is for Azure Developer CLI. And if you have Azure Developer CLI installed, you should, you, you need that. It will simplify a lot your Azure de deployment. I want to show you a little trick. So if I go in my uh, prompt here, instead of cloning the repo, I could do AZD in it, and then I could get a template. There's ton of template that are available, and I could do this and it will clone the environment. So kind of like just do a git clone, but then also add a few files that will help me later when I'm deploying. So let's do this. It's very fast. And now I can set a name for my environment. And voila. I'm done. Before I show you a little bit more about the EZD, let's start the deployment. It's very fast, but let's do this. So we'll just need to go in the source folder and it was quick start, right? Great. So now what I need to do was EZD up. This will provision the resource I need for those sample into my Azure subscription. I need to enter a name. Again, let's do learn. Pick my Azure subscription. Specify where I want to deploy the resources. And now I'll be deploying. It will take about one minute. So while this is deploying, I want to show you a little bit more about Azure Developer CLI. So if I go back to, into my browser, there is a template where it's awesome easy D and there's tons of templates available. And here is the one that we're using. So if I click, we'll see, I have the, the command that I just type here and we can see that it's in the GitHub repository and you can make your own. So you could decide, Hey, I want to see more .NET and maybe I want to use some specific, I don't know. So uh, app service and here you will have more template. You could use that to create your own template. You could use that in your project. And the beauty of it is it will be very simple to create all your resource into Azure. And also after that, I will show you after the sample, how to delete all the resource from Azure. So now it should be done. Let's go back to our prompt. Well, it's done. So if we look, we can see our resources that are created here. So let's have a look to see what it did for us. So opening here the Azure portal, we can see that it created for us uh, cognitive services. And if I go there and if I go into the model deployment, I can see that it created two, it deploy two models. So the GPT 3.5 and the DALI uh, 3, because those simple are using those two models. So that's perfect. It was very simple for us, a simple command and everything was created for us. But there was also something else. If we go back into the, here, the terminal, we can see that after deploying the Azure resources, the script did create some secret for us. So usually when you talk with open API or any AI, you will have some key and it, instead of having to copy paste those keys, 
the script, the AZD, what it does, it's running a script after and creating secrets. So you could use the, the sample without having to copy paste those secrets. So let's open this into uh, Visual Studio Code to see a little bit more about it. Looking at that readme, the same readme we had open earlier into the GitHub repo. So now what I need to do is select one of the example I want to try. So let's have some fun with the benefit of uh, iKing. And we could try it with the semantic kernel or the Azure OpenAI SDK. So let's start with the Open SDK just like this. So now what it says is say just to go in that specific folder and just do a .NET run. So what I will do is here, I will go in the solution. So here in the solution, I will go in that specific folder, find that sample and just do a .NET run. So here I have the first one, .NET run. I could look at the code here. So we could see it's very simple. So what I was saying, like it's using secrets and I could really understand what's happening. So it looks like it will load a file called benefits and then it will say, hey, please summarize this in 20 words or less. And then I should see the, the response. So it's simulating a conversation between me and an AI assistant and summarizing a longer text. So let's open a terminal here. We'll need to go into that folder. So I need to go in the... Uh, Azure Open AI SDK and then it was 01. Voila. So now if I do a .NET run, I should be ready to go. Told you, not very a lot of installation step. So now it's taking a few minutes to compile, obviously, and after that I will send my request to Open API Open AI and I will get my response back. So we can see it if I maximize this. We can see that the user, hey, please summarize the following text in less than 20 word. The text that I'm assuming was into the file. We, I didn't open it, but this is it. In Markdown, we can recognize the pattern of, of Markdown. And here is the response from the assistant. Say, hey, hiking benefits, blah, 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 blah. So it's working. It's really cool. So now how you can learn from it is now is try to change a few things. Maybe, I don't know, I speak French, so does it understand French? Could it translate at the same time? So let's give it a try. So instead of like saying all this, I will say the same thing in French. So if you don't speak French, you will have to trust me on that one. Voila. So here what I'm asking is like, hey, not SQL. <laughs> say, hey, summarize this in French uh, in 15 words instead of 20. Let's go for 15 or less. So I will save this. We'll do this, maximize again this prompt, and let's do a .NET run. Cool. So if we look at the, the answer here, it just say, hey, la randonnée offre les bienfaits physiques, mentaux et sociaux. Commencez dès maintenant pour en profiter. So it is really summarizing it, but on top of that, it's in French. And trust me, it makes sense. So that's great. So we learn, we can start playing. I, I think you can see how it's cool. So now the same sample exists, but semantic with semantic kernel, kernel. So to do that, what we can do is just go up and change here instead of like doing the Azure OpenAI SDK. Now I could go in semantic kernel and going into the hike benefit summary. So same sample, just different SDK use. So we can see it definitely diff using different NuGet package. It's creating the client and mostly the same thing, creating some prompt and putting all that together and invoking the message. So if I'm running this, I should expect the same result. So let's do this very quickly. Okay, let's clear and let's do a .NET run. I'm expecting this exact same result as before. So it's summarizing the long markdown file in, I can see here, 20 minutes. So hiking, offer physical fitness, mental well-being, and connecting to nature. Start now. Enjoy the benefit of the nature. So it's working. And now I could start messing around, see, taking a different text and stuff like that. 
So if we go back to the GitHub repository, voila, here, we can see that there's more projects, more samples. So there's a hiker with like a more complex chat. There's where we, you talk with the chat about your previous hike. Uh, there's like here where you're calling a local function because let's say you want to talk about the weather or something different. The AI doesn't know about the weather, so you need to provide some tooling. So here it's pretty cool. It's using this and it's generating some image. That's why uh, the, the sample was also using the model DALI. Mod, the model DALI is to generate images. So here you will create postal card to invite your friends. Hey, future Frank here. So I completely forgot to uh, tell you how you can delete all the resources. So remember, I told you that the Azure Developer CLI that was very useful. So we did AZD up to deploy everything into Azure. But now when it's time to, to do some cleanup, what we do is AZD down. Doing so, it will ask you, are you sure? Or do you want to do a soft delete or like delete them forever? So it's very secure and you can, it will, remove all the resources into Azure. It's very smart. If you have multiple resources with dependencies, it does everything for you. So do this when you're done playing with all those simple. Back to you, Frank. I'm telling you, those simple are really fun. So go in GitHub, clone that repo. The community here is driven. If you have question, ask question there or leave a comment. Always happy to see you. See you next time.